What's up guys? Good morning and welcome to the channel. It's a new day and a new review. I have something again from Aurora RC right here. This is the Stick 4. If you're looking for something that will freestyle, race, um, whatever you want to do at high speeds under 250 grams, this is a really good choice for that. This quad comes in with this True X design, ultra lightweight frame that you can get the frame kit for around $35. What I like about it so far is that it it's ultra durable. It has a TPU top plate mount for the camera on top. We've got a Cat X on here, it's the EOS 2. And we have a little tiny right-hand circular polarized antenna coming off the back right here with, I believe, a UFL connector to the VTX. We've got 30 amp ESCs on here. And what's funny is that I was just flying these same exact motors. These are the 1507 2700 KV motors from T-Motor. And I was flying it on the Mamfu um, from Aurora RC. That was the Cinewoop you guys saw on the channel yesterday. But this one was easy to set up. It already had an XM Plus receiver in here. Just bound it up to my radio, set it up in beta flight with my switches in about seven minutes time and I was done. Now they also included in the box a set, uh, two sets of Wind Dancer props from Gemfan. These are 4032 props. Um, so not, not too bad, not too aggressive on the pitch. But the good news is that it does have a smooth tune out of the box. So the flight characteristics are really lightweight. The power to weight ratio is through the roof, like 10 to one or better. Um, extreme punch out and it feels really nimble. So if you're looking for something that has like a, um, if you already know how to fly acro, of course, you're looking for something that has a nice, quick, snappy, responsive, uh, and this, this little quad is, is it. It'll turn on a dime. It'll stop and go the other direction really quickly. So if you're racing gates or anything like that, uh, four inch is a dominator on the course. I've seen four inch beat five inch quads in multi-GP races, um, hands down. So uh, even some of the, um, the Twig series from Beta FPV have done that on the course uh, down in California multi-GP. So uh, very fast quad and it retails for around $180. Um, so you can get a variety of different receivers on this one as well. But let's go ahead now outside and let me show you a little flight demo of this quad and what it can do up in the air out at my uh, one of my favorite locations to fly, the, the tree farm. So here we go, guys. Let's do some flying. After that, we'll come in and give some final thoughts and uh, a little more detail about this quad. And oh, yeah, by the way, it's five millimeter replaceable arms on here. Um, yeah. And over four minutes flight time with a 650, 4S 650 battery, around 225 grams. Freaking awesome. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this quad up in the air. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to talk too much during this flight demo. I'm going to let you guys watch some of the footage, but if you have never really flown a four inch before, especially this toothpick category i'm just going to kind of make a few comments about what the immediate characteristics are of this type of quad now as you can see it's pretty quick on the the snap and the roll rate um very feels like a loose tune on here and the the power to weight ratio like i said before it's it's great it's the punch out is insane um, i'm going to show you a few punch outs in here and what i want you to pay attention to in this review is the left hand side of the screen where you see it's only pulling like two to seven to eight amps at a time. I like to have that on the screen to show you guys how much ESCs uh, or amps are going through the ESCs at any given time. And also just above that is the throttle amount. So watch my punch out. You'll see that even in, in some of my most extreme punch outs, I'm pulling like a max of like eight amps off these ESC, which is kind of efficient for a 4S quad um, running four inch props. So that's that's impressive to me. So that's what is actually giving us this long flight time. Um, and so I, I just get to fly this quad and enjoy it for really twice the amount of time I could fly a five inch for. 
Um, there's not many five inches out there that are going to give you an upwards of eight minute flight time. So that's really impressive for this quad. So um, sit back, enjoy the footage, and uh, hopefully you in, in get something out of this video as always. And then at the end of this flight, a couple flights, we're going to come back in and, and I'm going to give you my final opinions on the stick four. And uh, here's that punch out 10 amp right there. So max of 10 amps on that punch out. That was pretty good. And I got tons of vertical height out of that punch out. So enjoy the footage guys. I'll talk to you in a few minutes.
my friends. Welcome back from the flight test. So what did you guys think about that footage for the stick for ultralight four inch toothpick? I, I love this trend. Um, I have sort of taken a break from four inch for a long time and it's nice to be back flying four inch because it still feels like you're flying a five inch. You only go down about an inch size in the prop but you're also able to keep it under 250 grams. Now, if you are into these ultralights, there are five inch versions that are under 250 grams. So if you didn't know that, now you know. Um, but this one will come in a little bit lighter and give you a longer flight time. So that's the, that's the, the great thing about four inch ultralight. The 850 battery that I flew, the 4S850, I was getting an, an upwards of close to eight minutes flight time and that's, absolutely crazy um eight minutes flight time on something that goes this fast is is really awesome so i think if you're if you're wanting a long flight time a five inch most five inches on a 4s 550 they're going to get you about four minutes to five minutes if you're cruising if you're a hardcore freestyle and you're really punching the throttle up to 80 percent or so um, you're going to get three minutes on most five inch quads out there so um, the fact that this one can do eight minutes for moderate freestyle is actually pretty impressive. So um, my battery of choice again, guys, and I'll put a link down below to some of these, is the 4S650 battery. Um, and this one has an XT30 on here, but the cool thing about this quad is that in the box, they also give you a converter so that you can use your XT60 connector batteries, or you can convert it down to the XT30. So this is a nice little addition in the box. Um, I haven't seen this with a lot of bind and fly quads recently, so this is this is nice from Aurora. So I appreciate this because it allowed me to use my smaller batteries that I wanted to put on here because I don't really want to put uh, a 1300 size battery on here. You could, but I think at that point you're going to start to feel the extra weight. So um, keep the weight down and you'll still have uh, keep the flight time up even though it's such a light battery. But um, 650 was my favorite for freestyle. Long flights is going to be the 850 and uh, get yourself eight minutes flight time. But you also have a little spot up here if you would like to. It has a little ridge right here. And what you could do is you could mount your um, Insta360 Go on top of this little guy and then you'll get nice stabilized, uh, really vivid footage with this quad. So if you want to make some pretty sick freestyle videos, this is um, the, the one to get for this summer. So. Uh, uh, I like it and uh, I didn't have any, again, no problems with this one. If I have any problems with quad on the channel, I'm going to let you guys know if there's any bugs in the system with a flight controller or something on here uh, has a problem with quality control. Um, I will always let you guys know. But the other thing that you need to know about this one before I let you go is that it is a very simple stack to work on. It's old school design. This, this type of flight stack has been around for around five years or so. Um, some of the first GEP RC quads that I built from kits had this same style stack, and it's really easy to get to. Four bolts, at least the top plate, and you're in the stack to work on it. So um, it looks like a good one for beginners to work on as well. Not a lot of bolts, not a real complicated frame to work on. So definitely two thumbs up on this one, guys, for the stick four. It's a, it's a, it's a mini beast and, and a ripper under 250 grams. It's awesome. But thanks again for watching the channel, guys. Stay safe out there and happy FPV. Keep flying guys, and I'll check you on the next one.